The aurora could be unforgettable. And WBZ's Laura Haefeli gives us a closer look at why this is happening. It's a sight to see. A spot on the sun 16 times wider than Earth is causing a storm in space. The technical term, a geomagnetic storm, a common atmospheric event, but this one is big, so impactful, it may make the northern lights visible to neighbors in New England. I've never been able to see the northern lights. That'd be insane. But how does it happen? I asked an expert, UMass Lowell professor of physics, Silas Laycock. The magnetic fields that actually cause the sunspot have launched some hot gas from the sun's uh, atmosphere towards the Earth. That hot gas is going to slam into the Earth's magnetic fields and be dumped into the north and south poles and cause the sky to glow. How excited are you that this is happening? And how excited should we be? I mean, this is fairly rare, correct? Yes. So I, I'm pretty excited as to how rare this particular event is. There was a sunspot that appeared in uh, 1859, which was called the Carrington sunspot. That was so severe that they knocked out telegraph networks. They caused fires across the world in electrical systems. The types of technologies that would be impacted by it are things that have basically long um, electrical cables. So could uh, we go off the air tonight? Yeah, you could do it. It could happen, right? I'd really be curious where I, what time, where I could see this. Questions that aren't so easily answered. Several variables, including weather here on Earth, will determine visibility, and we may not be able to see it at all. But staying away from light pollution will help your chances. I'd step outside to go look at them. The rare event, just weeks after a solar eclipse, gripped the attention of the world. We only had one pair of sunglasses, so we're all trading off with it. And you can use those same sunglasses now to see the spot on the sun responsible for the northern lights in New England. Laura Haefeli, WBZ News.